Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And on the way back from my recent trip to St. Louis, I brought back a number of artifacts for the World of Witches Museum, and in particular for the Salem Chapel. Uh, among these were uh, a number of new altar items, uh, well, old altar items, but new to Salem. Uh, altar figures and uh, the big marble altar that uh, for many years has served at Holy City Temple and then later at the Coral Mother Temple. Uh, and the big marble altar is now standing in the Salem Chapel room. Um, and you know, when we, when we worship and when we work magic, what's really taking place is taking place internally. Uh, it's taking place astrally, if you would. It's not taking place uh, through things, but through energy. Uh, so when we worship or when we work magic, we don't really need anything external. Uh, so why all the concern with, with these altar pieces and uh, with beautiful altars and, um, and all of these things? And uh, there are several answers to that. And one of them is that, uh, for me at least, giving a physical expression to my beliefs and practices has always been important. Uh, partly because I'm a visual artist and um, bringing beauty to what I'm doing is very important to me. Uh, I love to have flowers on the altar, for example. I love to have color. Uh, and I love to vary that color according to the ritual or according to the season. Uh, that's why uh, I have so many, so very many altar figures, so there can always be uh, one particular to that ritual. Um, why I have so many different altar pieces, so that I can assemble many different interesting altars. Uh, if you've watched the videos of... Uh, of the lessons, you'll notice that the altar is drastically different in each video. And I did that did it very intentionally to show people the range that an altar can have. Uh, and I find manipulating that range to be, to be artistically exciting to me. I find it very interesting. Um, the different feeling which is evoked from a, a simple altar with black and white colors uh, versus a complex altar with many objects on it and many different colors, uh, or a gold and white altar uh, with lots of brass artifacts. Uh, I find these all put one in a different state of mind, a different, a different state of spirit. And we certainly don't need things to do ritual. We don't need things to worship. Uh, but they do help to put us into that, that uh, magical state of mind. They help us to make that shift, and that's what makes them important. They also fulfill the artistic need of our soul. Um, I personally believe that art is very important to religion, and in our religion we very often express our artistic sense through our altars. Uh, certainly not exclusively, but largely. And, um, and so one of the things that um, I hope to convey at the museum uh, is that sense of artistry and beauty that we bring to our altars, uh, and also variety. Because, of course, one never really makes the same altar twice, or at least I don't, and uh, I, I cannot really imagine doing so. Uh, I may leave the same altar standing for a while, but um, rarely, if ever, have I set an altar up in a manner that I've previously done. Um, and I, for me, that... Um, is kind of important uh, because it reminds me of the fluid nature of spirituality, of the the evolving nature of spirituality. Uh, you know, they say you can never step into the same river twi twice, and I believe that's true of our, our uh, of ritual and magical experiences as well. Uh, that they are always different and evolving and changing. So that's my soapbox for today, and uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. And until then, may you blessed be.